Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing an updated morning routine with you. Right now, look at my arm, oh my gosh, I'm double jointed and I know it looks so gross, but right now I am working from home. If you guys did not know or if you're new here, I just recently quit my job as an accountant to pursue YouTube full-time and work on our other side business, m and Rustics full-time. So this is just sharing my morning routine with you guys working on all of that from home. So typically I get up right around seven in the morning, I stretch, check my phone, and then I head off to the bathroom and I weigh myself. I have the worst posture. I am working on it, but I have the worst posture. I'm so slumpy in the morning. Um, and then I will typically get my curling iron out. I've been trying to do my hair more so lately. Um, typically I can't be bothered to do my makeup or my hair, but I'm trying to do my hair a little bit more because if I curl it, it'll last a couple of days and is a little bit more maintenance free. Um, then I brush my teeth and I will pull my hair away from my face because I start to prep my face for washing. So the face wash I use every morning in combination with a skincare system is the Mix Easy face wash. The reason why I chose Mix Easy is actually they have like a customization uh, formula where you can create your own products for the results that you want and the ingredients are fresh, it's made to order. And some of the ingredients that I personally chose were like Dragon's Blood because it has cell renewal and then I chose Borage extract because it increases skin elasticity. Um, so just a few of the ingredients that I chose but I will use this face wash in combination with the spin care system um, I've noticed such a huge difference in my skin like texture and my skin tone since using this so the spin care brush itself I've been loving it has like two different speeds on there and there's like an exfoliating brush a daily facial cleansing like brush head a body brush head a pumice stone uh, brush head and then also one that you can use for your nails which I think is super awesome anyway I've noticed such a huge difference it really pulls out my blackheads I have on my chin I don't really struggle with acne I struggle with eczema redness and since I am in my late 20s I am starting to use an anti um, aging regimen as well so some of the ingredients I chose are anti-aging in that face wash highly recommend getting yourself your own mix easy uh, brush and your personalized face cleanser they also have like face lotion and a bunch of other things like that super awesome so anyways if you use my code Morgan you will get 15% off of your entire order at mix easy again highly highly recommend so after I'm done with my skincare routine, which I just use some like serums and then I use, I've been using like an intensive hydrating lotion the past few days just because I've been in the sun so much and it has SPF in it. Um, and then after I'm done with that, I will do uh, my hair. I look like such a hot mess. I don't know why there's a knot in the cord here, but I will curl my hair and like brush through it as you guys can see. And then I just take some larger sections and I leave the bottom like two inches of my hair and then I will hold it for a couple seconds after to really catch that curl. Um, so I just go around my head and I always curl away from my face. Um, I get a lot of questions how I do my hair and how I have it so like loose and like flowy and this is how I achieve that look. Um, again, brushing through it is super important too, but I'm always interrupted in the middle of doing my hair or whatever it may be because buddy boy wakes up. Isn't he so cute? This is literally my most favorite part of the day and Kaya likes to get him up and I will like stop her from getting him up because I love this part of my day. Is he going hey, oh. in? <laughs> so cute. Good yeah. 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 <laughs> So I will then finish my hair after I get Riker situated with a cartoon down on like the floor by my bed. Um, Kaya is going to the bathroom right now and getting dressed herself. Um, so I'm just finishing up my hair and I'm talking to Mike. You guys can see like in all of my morning routines, even my like 24 hour like videos, I'm always talking to Mike in the morning. I love him, he's just the best. He'll call me, check in on me, see how like I slept, see how the kids are. 
He'll tell me kind of about his morning because he goes to work at five in the morning. So this is just like a routine that we've had for a long time. We always call each other in the morning. And so while I'm talking to him, I'm brushing through my curls because I like them to be soft and flowy. And then I will hairspray um, my hair just to make sure that those curls hold nice for a day or two. Um, and right now I'm going through my clothes. I've really been loving an oversized shirt with some high waisted flowy shorts and then I will throw on a cardigan or a kimono depending on what the temperature is. Um, it's been really cool in the morning and then really warm in the afternoon here in Minnesota. It's been like 65 in the morning and then like 85 later in the afternoon. So I'll just throw on whatever is appropriate for that day and then I will spray myself down with some perfume and then go downstairs with the kids. Say Kaya. Aya. Aya. My name is not Aya. My name is Kaya. Aya. <laughs> I had to throw that clip in there. I thought it was so funny. Riker calls Kaya Aya. It's, oh my gosh, it's so funny. And she's like, my name is Kaya, not Aya. But anyway, so then I'll pick out Buddy Boy's outfit for the day. And he's like always on the move. And I will then like, I'll grab their swimsuits as well for daycare and pack them up. This is like real mom life, you guys. My house is an absolute disaster. I'm actually recording a get it all done with me, a clean with me today because my house is so crazy. I hope that some of you mamas can relate to this because my house, oh my gosh, like look, like laundry on the floor. My mom is coming to visit it's just a wreck but this is real life you guys and you know here on my channel I just I just I, I share my real life this is like the real deal right here so once I head downstairs with the kiddos I will get Riker a bottle we're transitioning him off of the Komotomos it has been a process so he is using the Komotomos and drinking whole milk and then Kaya gets her gummy vitamins in the morning. And then we will get into the vehicle. In this morning in particular, I brought the doggies with me. So I've got Coda and Aspen along for the ride this morning. Okay, so typically in the mornings, I will just make breakfast. I'll do like eggs for the kids, or sometimes they want breakfast, pizza, whatever it may be. This morning I stopped for burritos for them. Um, yes, we went to McDonald's. We get, um, I just get each of the kids a hash brown. I usually cool Rikers off for a little bit before I give it to him. I'll give that to Kaya. I've got my dogs with me, so I hope they don't try and eat the kids' food. Um, but I just get them sausage burritos. Um, because it's a little less heavy than like an egg sandwich. They would never be able to finish an egg sandwich by themselves. But Kaya can eat almost an entire um, burrito to herself, so that's why I get those. I do not get anything from here. Um, I will show you guys what I get at my next stop, but I need to cool down Riker's food. Yes, there will be leftovers. It's Friday, so it's like a treat for the kids. Um, I will get them to daycare and show you where I go next. Are you surprised? My next stop after daycare is coffee because you should not be surprised. Um, I usually go to Starbucks or I will go to Beans Coffee, which is local to my area, but I love getting Americanos in the morning and the doggies like to get their puppuccinos. Oh, thank you. We're parking. Yes, we are parking. This one's for you. Happy. Um, I got a venti iced Americano with sugar-free vanilla and heavy cream. Um, it's just like heavy whipping cream. Um, they always go really, really heavy. I feel like they take like heavy cream that they need to be heavy with the cream amount. But anyway, so um, that is what I got for my drink this morning. The dogs got pup, cup, pup cups, as you saw. Um, and then what I will do now um, is I will go through and track my um, food in the Weight Watchers app. Super easy, I just go in here and I'll type in venti americano. I'm gonna say they probably put like, like probably like four tablespoons. Oh, well, yeah, probably. They probably put like four tablespoons in this dang thing. So um, 
I am going to track for just to be on the heavier side. That is 10 points. That is 10 Weight Watchers points, you guys. So, um, I've got an iced Americano here. That is my breakfast. I did take one bite of Kaya's breakfast burrito because um, I wasn't like in the mood for the, it's like the egg bites here at, at Starbucks. I wasn't in the mood for those, so I took one bite of Kaya's um, egg burrito. So, but I have a grocery order coming to the house and then I have, um, I have to get a car wash and clean the car out before he gets to my house. So next up is going to be the car wash. Okay, so I have a fast pass for my freaking car wash and it's not working. It's working. All right, car wash time, y'all. There's like people that like wash off the car for you, so my dogs are gonna freak out. So I love my car wash that I go to because I can completely vacuum out my vehicle and like clean everything. So I did that and then came home, my groceries were on the front steps, I grabbed those and then I put everything away into the fridge. So I just got a few items um, for like my Weight Watchers stuff and I'm trying to be gluten free and anti-inflammatory. Um, but I'm also trying to be dairy free starting next week. We'll see how that goes because I really love my cheese and I don't really know how I feel about almond milk as creamer in my coffee, but that's what I'm gonna try and do. But as you can see, I loaded up on sugar-free pudding and jello, a lot of that's for the kids, and then I got um, some pickles because I love spicy pickles. That's like one of my favorite zero-point snacks to have um, is pickles, and I am like a beef stick fanatic, you guys. Like, I love beef sticks. I know they're not healthy for me. I know it's not the best thing, but I love them. So I have one of those and then I turn on the TV and I start like Friends or Sex in the City or just what I, whatever I'm feeling like during that season, I always change each season. But then I will sit down and I will get back to you guys on my phone uh, via like Instagram or through the YouTube comments and then I start going through my emails and my messages for M&M Rustics and then I will start scheduling out the rest of my week and marketing and all of that fun craziness. I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy morning routine. This is like typically what my morning routine looks like. I like get all my errands done right after I get the kids. I come home, I start working um, on like all of my YouTube stuff. I check in with m and Rustic customers, all of the things. As I get home from running the errands, picking up the kids, like I said, I will sit down. Usually it's right around like 10.30 or so. I will sit down and that's when I start working for the day. I'll turn on my friends or Sex in the City or I will jam out to some like country. In the summertime I like to, I like to listen to like country or sometimes like I love Theory of a Dead Man. <laughs> I love Metallica, I love ACDC. Like anyways, it's like one of the weird facts about me is I like rock. Um, but typically in the summertime I'll listen to country or some like really uplifting like beats or like a Michael Bublé, um, like Pandora station, something of the sort. That is what I do and I'll sit down and I will go through like all of my emails and things like that um, and then get back to you guys on my Instagram and I'll go through my YouTube comments and then I will check in with M&M Rustic customers and follow through with any leads that I have. And I do lots and lots of marketing and behind the scenes stuff for my YouTube channel. I'm taking advantage of this time while the kids are still in daycare. Again, next Tuesday is the kids' last day, or I should say Riker's last day of full-time daycare, and then Kaya will stay full-time, but Riker will be home with me. So stay tuned for another morning routine video because I would love to show you guys what my routine looks like in the morning after Riker is staying home with me and Kaya is still going to school um, slash daycare. Um, they have like a really awesome preschool program, so we do also call it school. So. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Be sure that you're subscribed to my channel before you leave so that you don't miss out on any of my other videos. And I will see you guys in a couple days for another really fun video, okay? Bye, you guys.